I'm here. And Sean, which one are you? Hey, Justin Pinkus. And Kyle. Hello, Justin. Okay, you guys look good. <laughs> and so, so uh, what you're looking at, what you're looking at, what you're looking at, all of this is, is done, they're enjoying virtual reality on you know, the HTC vibes. And, uh, uh, and, and we love our collaboration with HTC. Hey guys, welcome to our Loop. of this amazing new smart scooter called Gogoro. Do you guys know, do you guys know Gogoro? Yeah. yeah. Right. They're the cutest thing, the most beautiful, the most beautiful design. And uh, very few designers that I know has the ability to revolutionize so many industries. And Morris has the benefit of working in the PC industry, in the gaming industry, the, the smartphone industry, and now uh, smart transportation, smart mobility industry. And so this is this is a GoPro. This is a surprise for you too. Yes. And so, and so uh, uh, as you know, GoPro is really, really beautiful. And of course, your team had, had a, it's really great to have you guys share with us your design. And and, uh, uh, and the guys were able to import uh, your design uh, directly into into the holodeck. And so, so uh, before we ask you a couple of questions, let me show you what we can do in the holiday. So for example, this is an X-ray bubble. We use an X-ray sphere basically go into your design and look at all of its parts. Now one of the things that, that of course, could you tell me something? What inspired this design? How did you? Well, we started the company in 2011 with a big idea of changing how energy is used in the city. And you know, making it smarter, cleaner, etc. etc. And the biggest, if you don't know, the biggest consumption of energy we use is actually in transportation. And especially big cities like Taipei and today. And so we designed a vehicle that broke all the rules. Uh, it had to be very fast, it had to be very cool, just like you said, eye catching, uh, and it had to be very versatile, uh, very easy to use. So uh, you'll see from our vehicle here that every component, you know, because when we started, Nobody has ever done anything like what we've done before. So we actually started with uh, ground zero. Every component, um, we engineered it, we designed it, uh, we manufactured it. You know, I want to hear about this this engine that you've got. So apparently, this engine. Let me see if I can, can say it. Some kind of an aluminum liquid pool something magnet synchronizer. <laughs> you got you What is this? Well, when we started, we had a dream to come up with something that would compete with the 1.5, 150 cc class, uh -huh. which is a normal measure. Uh -huh. Something that's not this big. And we first went to around town to a group of people to help us with motor. Everybody came back to the this big. Great uh, for a car, but not necessarily for a scooter, so we had to come up with something brand new. Uh, with something so small, uh, just like you're a very good deal on Earth, uh, we need a very good very good innovative cool system. So we run running water through all of that. Uh, work. No kidding. <coughs> this is the world's first liquid cool scooter. Yeah, yeah. liquid cool scooter. Now, hey guys, I just want you to see something. Okay, so in order for you to grasp something in virtual reality, that world has to be, has to obey the laws of physics. Okay? And so don't, don't look left and right and make any sense. <laughs> Just grab onto the steering wheel. Look at that. Look at all the reflections are all perfect. So is Sean, is that you? Yep. Alright, so Sean just grabbed onto the steering wheel and, and uh, by grabbing onto the steering wheel, remember, you can only grab something if it obeys the laws of physics. So collision has to be detected, it has to seem physical, and so as a result being able to uh, to uh, steer the steer the boat well. Now one of the things that's really amazing is, is your, your battery system. Yes. Nobody would have thought, nobody would have thought the right answer was to remove the battery. What a crazy idea. Right? It's like replacing the fuel tank everywhere you go. <laughs> so so uh, we decided we would simulate the battery replacement system uh, in virtual reality. And so, so tell me about tell me about the idea. How do you guys come up with the idea? And how do you figure out? You know, who, where, where the questions uh, are to be uh, <laughs> and which one, which one of the scooters should go to which one of the fuel stops. Well, one of the biggest challenges in a place like the Taipei is that you don't just walk in the so what is the price of the 
progress with the new one, Generation 2. Generation 2 in Taiwan actually has a very good subsidy program. Um, the government is very active when it comes to pushing for uh, electric vehicle adoption. Really? You get the subsidized? Yeah, you get subsidized. Okay. Just like in California, you get the subsidy for okay. right. Tesla. So in the vehicle, you know, if, uh, after subsidy, it's as low as I think, 1700 US. Uh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. wow. So it's very affordable. Yeah, and the whole thing is everybody. Everybody gets one for Christmas. <laughs> well, what a what a great achievement! I'm so proud of you. You're a hero of Taiwan, and it's great, really great to see uh, uh, Taiwanese companies innovate. And, and uh, this is this is this is uh, not only state of the art technology, uh, but it's, it's got such a such a uh, Taiwan sensibility, which I love. You know, you, know, it's, it, you, you can't imagine somebody in the United States creating a scooter startup, but here in Asia. A scooter, you don't want big limos, you don't want big big cars, you want small scooters. And we've been revolutionized how people how people enjoy mobility. Uh, one scooter is really a great story. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.